best of five, top eight, because SmashCon really tilted me. It was like top like three or something like that. But it wasn't though. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't. Because I remember like, I got seven that we didn't play a single best of five. Yeah. So we got Hotline in the Yid. Watching some of their games earlier. They were, some sets are playing high and others not so much. So I'm interested to see how this one plays out. So we have the Yid, Kirby. thing about this team composition is that sometimes Yoshi will have like a kill setup but the Yoshi's too afraid of hitting their teammate with like an up smash or something that could potentially kill and it'll get cut short but if it, if uh if I like can find a way to hit those combos without endangering the it I think that they have a really good shot of taking this And, you know, they have the added benefit that they're, you know, Connecticut is so good versus Kirby. So a format like this might actually benefit them more than other people. Because I imagine a lot of people are going to have pocket Kirby's that they don't really play. You know, and if you're like a Kirby specialist, someone whips up that pocket Kirby, it's going to be bad for the Kirby, no matter the matchup. Hotline living forever here at 167. He's just hitting these corridors. Finally gets snared out. I don't know if that was worth. Can be a kill here for Hotline. Misses on the Pika, but I like the anticipation. You always got to be aware of the, where the second guy is. This could be it for Pika. Yep. Oh my god. Brutal. I think something that Neil can do better here is sometimes he kind of doesn't know who to hit or who to go for, and he's just kind of just not helping uh, A1 at all. So I think if if he just chose, all right, I'm going to engage the Yoshi, or I'm going to engage the Kirby, even if it's not necessarily the right decision, it would at least uh, put something in motion for him. Loser of this gets what place? I have no idea. Triple in bracket. It's on a piece of paper. And I don't know how to read it. Forward air left him vulnerable. Kirby, but not the greatest saving capability when it comes to teams. If he would have got that last hitbox of the forward air or the, the inside, maybe he could have popped him over horizontally. I, I do like these forward airs off stage that Hotline is uh, going for. A lot of the times, even if they don't hit, he's not in any real danger. And you can four air spike somebody at such low percent with Yoshi, so the risk reward is just very in the favor. 
And he kind of just goes. The Yid kind of just dies there. Expects the Pika to jump into that F smash. Nice snare to box him out. Guess you should be dead here with a strong back air. No, he just he doesn't do it properly, he gets forward air for it. He knew Yoshi couldn't make it. I thought, you know, grab the ledge, but no. He was far enough anyways. Play from Neo coming. I like it. He's getting shield pressure now. That's unfortunate, but I did like the plat, the plat movement. Not playing too angsty. Sometimes you gotta just let the opponent come to you, especially if they're playing very aggressive. You gotta make them respect the fact that you, you have some discipline. Should be it for player four. Oh, the Yoshi comes in. You know, right there. It's Neil's job to just drop zone Nair on that Kirby. A1 got to get out of the way. This Kirby's not that great at edge guarding from below because it takes so long to get back up. Yoshi's love that, that like instant up smash. Don't know what's going on with the Yid. He's lost the will to live again. That should be it. No, it's not. I don't know my percents. Eggs, where the eggs at? Just holding ledge? I guess that works. And they take it. How I in the Yid take it?